Hey, church family, it is Pastor Ian here with Amy. We hope that you are doing well. Uh, we are excited to let you know about something brand new at the King's Church. We wanted to film a little video so we can get this in front of you as we look ahead to something exciting coming up in the month of August. So we are excited to announce that uh, we're going to be having a brand new church-wide gathering here at our church building uh, in the months of August and January, and we are calling these Equip Nights. Now, the goal of these nights is going to be gathering the whole church family together, whoever can make it, uh, for the purpose of dinner and discipleship. And uh, we're going to share a big family meal together as a church. I think like old school Baptist potluck style, at least for one of these nights, uh, should be a really fun time together. And then we'll transition in the second half of the evening into a teaching time that will be followed by some table discussion or some questions and answers. And then a time for us to pray together uh, as a whole church family. Uh, we've never really had a chance to do this besides meeting on Sunday mornings because we've never had a space for it. But now that we do, we're really excited about this opportunity. Uh, our hope is to focus on topics during these equip nights that we believe will increase our worship of Jesus, that will help our members grow in our discipleship. And uh, it's an opportunity for our pastors and elders and leaders to equip the saints for the work of ministry, which is what we are called to do here. So what we're going to be doing is gathering the last three Wednesday nights of August and January moving forward. Now, in order to create space for that, we're actually going to be suspending and taking a break from all of our city groups during those two months. Now, I know we've never done that before, but again, we think this is a great opportunity for us to all gather together. There's some other added benefits I want to put before you as well. Uh, this is a great opportunity to give a little bit of rest to our, both our city group leaders who are facilitating and hosting groups. Uh, we've never taken a break from city groups officially. I know some groups do that during the summer here and there. Uh, but this is a chance in already really busy seasons of August and January uh, to let our facilitators and our hosts just take a little bit of a breather and get a rest. It also creates natural start and stop and multiplication rhythms for our city groups. So moving forward, we'll be looking at the months of September and February as key months to try to launch new city groups. So if you're not yet in a city group, uh, this will give you a chance to hear more about them in these equip nights and then join one in September uh, as we come up to this this fall. Uh, this also really anchors our calendar here at the King's Church, so our classes will kind of fall in line, both our Bible studies and our doctrine class, uh, into the fall and spring post these equip nights. And it also gives us just further opportunities to meet new people. Uh, I know it's really hard on Sunday morning. We're all kind of crammed together in the sanctuary, in the pews. There's people serving and running around. We have so many new faces, and this just creates another opportunity for us to relationally connect with one another, uh, get to know each other, and then have meaningful conversations about things that are going to further uh, our discipleship. So we're really excited about this. We also have an incredible opportunity to continue to invest in our kids here at the King's Church. And I don't know if you know this, but we have a lot of children here at the church. So I'm going to let Amy talk a little bit about the opportunity these equip nights are going to give us with our kids specifically. Yeah, um, as you already said, great opportunity to further the discipleship of our kids, to come alongside our families as spiritual mothers and fathers in different capacities. So um, really excited for what we hope to do with these nights. Um, there's two different ways that we're going to be able to pour into our kiddos and continue discipling them um, with these nights. And so the first one is going to be actual Kingdom Kid classrooms. And those will be offered for our one-year-olds up through preschool. So that'll equal out to be about two rooms. Very similar to Sunday mornings. We'll have toddlers in one room and then our preschoolers in another. So we're just dropping that age a little bit to get some more of our walkers in there. And uh, in the, they'll stay with us, though, for the mealtime. So they're a part of our family. So they'll be in there with us. And then when we break up for the teaching time, we'll dismiss them back to their rooms and we'll do some worship, some catechism work, and depending on the equip night topic, if it's appropriate, we'll, we'll hone in on that topic as well with the kids so they can have discussions with the family on that topic as well. So that's super exciting. And then the second space is when we do the table discussions, we would love the opportunity to have tables specifically for um, the, the kids who don't have a Keenum Kids classroom. So our kindergartens up through fifth grade to have um, table specifically for them with facilitators. We'll provide questions for our facilitators to help them with that, but that's just a really great opportunity for them to still be a part of the teaching time, get to see the body, um, their, their parents, their friends uh, in that discussion learning time, but be able to discuss maybe a little more catered to where they're at. So both great opportunities in, in order to make this happen, for each equip night, we need five classroom teachers and three facilitators. 
Uh, so if you're interested in doing this, uh, it would be awesome. We'd love to have you, whether you're a Keenum Kid teacher already, great opportunity to continue building relationships with your kids if you're in those rooms. But then also if you're not a Keenum Kid teacher, that's okay. This is still a great opportunity to actually come alongside our Sunday morning Keenum Kid teachers, give them an opportunity to have a little bit of a break, um, and also yourself be able to build relationships with these uh, kids. So. Um, if you want to do that, if you have more questions, ask me. I can definitely tell you more about it, but if, if you want to do that, we'll have a form linked with this video, and you can designate what specific area or age that you would like to be in, and you can also designate which of the equip nights you're available to serve. So, yeah, really great. excited for that. And yeah. the goal would be to serve one of the three equip nights that we have yes, coming yeah. up in August. Unless you wanted to serve more, but yeah, we'll continue that whole once uh, session, I guess, serving. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be great. So thank you guys mm -hmm. for considering serving in that space. And uh, yeah, please check out the sign up link if you can do so. And if you want to facilitate, you'll be in for the whole teaching yep. time as well. So mm -hmm. it'll just be a great chance to apply that at the level of our kids. So church, we're really excited about this. The feedback's been really positive as we've been bouncing this around with some people. Uh, so please save the dates. August 17th, 24th and 31st are going to be our fall equip nights. Be here at the church building. It'll be 530 to 730 p.m. And we're really just excited to gather all together and see how this goes. So uh, we're going to need you to RSVP for these. We're going to need to figure out how to get signups for food out there. Uh, all of that will be coming as we roll into August here soon. So just keep an eye on our social media, on our emails. And if you have any questions in the meantime, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, but we love you. We're excited about this. And uh, we'll see you guys soon.